you know one of the things i used to explain out you rightly said is that it was between it never civilians were involved it was fought among warriors and even then they had code of ethics another thing is that it is it was not really we could say uh it was not so much a war like in today's war when it's a there's some violence in the name of religion it is based on we could say religious intolerance that you don't agree with my beliefs therefore i will i will destroy you but there as you rightly said in the mahabharata ramayan it's not so much about one's particular say who it's more about wrong doing not so much about believing because the kauravas they did serious wrongs the ravan did serious wrongs so in a sense although the war is fought to establish dharma it is not religious violence in the sense that it is today religious violence today is that where one religion wants to wipe out another religion whereas there it was more of to establish order in society it is not necessary that i want to impose your religion on other on your my religion on your religion it was so although the uh, epics themselves are religious the wars themselves are not fought to say further a religious agenda of imposing one religion on another they are fought more to remove wrong doers and establish you could say a proper order in society that's correct yeah yeah you're saying that nowadays um so called religious wars are conducted between two opposing parties who are trying to assert their particular faith you know their their understanding over the other uh, and it's in intolerance really that that we're talking about that you know that they're trying like the crusades or or the uh, islamic conquests of you know centuries yeah. ago um that that was more about you know asserting their beliefs over others um but the 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 wars and fights that we find in the vedic scriptures in the epics um is about establishing righteousness um yeah. and um trying to dharma the the code of dharma as, as you stated um and and that's a fact yeah i mean of course they'll argue that today they'll say no our religion is dharma and theirs is atharma um so <laughs> you know before we can really enter into that kind of discussion we have to establish well what are we talking about when we say dharma you know what is god's will um and, and um how how can we execute that what what does it mean what does it look like um and, and uh, otherwise it, it's because they will say that i think both side like the crusades for example we 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 are establishing christianity which is the only true and right path you know christ said i am the way the truth and the light and so all of these other heathens they need to be converted <laughs> so they they saw it in those terms but the, but we have to question well were they right i mean was their uh, understanding of um dharma of religion actually correct according to um the scriptures even the scriptures that they follow themselves uh, were they getting it right and uh, and what was the result what did we see as a result of that um did, did it usher in uh an age of piety of happiness like for example when yudhisthira um after winning the battle we hear about the the reign of yudhisthira and 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 how um there was no amongst the people in general um everyone was happy there was no suffering there was great wealth and opulence when you read about the the great kingdoms of the past that were ruled over by dharmic rulers by you know the vedic rulers um they were wonderful uh, societies where everyone was peaceful and happy in fact it said that that they, they were so um connected with the hierarchy of cosmic um you know uh, uh, authority going up to god that that there wasn't even premature death there wasn't um uh you know natural calamities nat- natural disasters all of the things we experience now due to the leadership that was enlightened leadership that was dharma you know so um that they were aiming for that ideal to get to that sort of level so that everyone would be peaceful everyone would be happy everyone would be aligned with the purpose of life and satisfied fulfilled you know these were the markers that that we that we need to look for 
uh, if someone's claiming, yes, we have the right path, okay, can you show us that now? Are, are these markers visible in your society? Is this the case? Is this what you're trying to give to the world? You know, what are you actually trying to give to the world? You know, you look at their society and it's riven by conflict, by so many problems, you know, by violence, by, by so many nasty things that are going on. That's their society and they want to give that to the rest of the world. You know, so we can, you know, we have to be intelligent to really analyze these things and see them in terms of, uh, in, in terms of the Shasta scriptures, really.